Hey guys, welcome. Uh, we're gonna be talking about how to get your leads to raise their hand. Uh, very simple training that I have for you today that I think is gonna be really valuable if you implement it immediately. Okay, so first of all, um, I've worked with thousands and thousands of coaches over the years, and one common thread amongst all of them is that they struggle with consistent lead generation. And a lot of them don't have the money to go out and spend a, a significant amount on ads per se. So uh, having a consistent flow of leads relies 100% on their organic uh, conversations. A lot of them are DMing, a lot of them are producing social content, and it's hard for them to get that consistency because they're basically putting stuff out there and hoping that people will, will, uh, will engage with their social content and, and they're hoping to go out and create, you know, conversations out of likes and comments and that sort of thing. And it can be very uncomfortable and can be a little challenging for a lot of people. So I'm going to give you a very simple system to get people to raise their hand and uh, they're called two steps. And it's a strategy that we use in our company. Um, we, we run them multiple times a week, sometimes uh, every week, depending on the platform. And, and essentially it's a very simple concept. A two step is just you putting some sort of piece of content out, could be an email, text, we do them on social, we do them in all areas. And you're saying, hey, this is a training, this is, you know, here's some content. If you want this, if you want X, Y, Z, then let me know in some form or another. And I'm gonna show you some ways to automate this process so that uh, it can be very effective for you. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand what your target audience is after. You need to know what it is that they're hoping uh, or what it is that, that they could use and implement to get a quick win something that is really valuable to them. And this we call a lead magnet. Essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to produce some piece of content that is going to um, help them make some kind of quick transition because that quick win is gonna go a long way with creating trust and that value is gonna come back 10 times to you. Okay, so don't, don't be afraid about giving away some good content. I see a lot of people who are worried about you know, hey, I've got this really great piece of my my course or my membership, and I just don't want to give it to them. Give it away. Give it create create it create a, such a a powerful lead magnet that people will give you money for it or or should right and and try giving it away for free and see what it does to 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 this process. Remember, your goal is not to sell that piece of content. Your goal is to bring on clients to work with you in order to do that. They have to know, like, and trust you. They have to be, they have to trust in your ability to lead them. The best way to get, to gain that trust is to demonstrate that you know what to do and how to help them. So what I want to do is I want to walk you through this process of creating two step. Number one, have to have a good lead magnet, a tool, something that's attractive to them. That's going to get them to say, yes, I want it. And then what you need to do is you need to create a system that's going to allow you to, to, to get that information to them quickly. Now, bare bones, if all you had to do, if all you, if you don't have any tools, you don't have anything in place, the, you know, the bare minimum, manually sending them the content, right? Sure, that can be done, but that won't work at scale. And this is my shameless little pitch for our software system, Elite 360. You don't have to get it, but the example that I'm gonna be giving you is using this tool. So you can get a free seven day trial. Elite 360 is our all-in-one digital marketing platform to help you build your business. It's gonna give you all the tools that you need. We use it in our multi-million dollar company to grow every aspect of it. And, and I believe in it 100%. I help create and design the system that we give you. We give you a preloaded business with a lot of the tools and systems that, that I'm gonna mention automatically and loaded into the system, okay? So let's, let's switch gears and I wanna show you exactly how this works. So what you're looking at right here is what we call our workflow builder. Uh, where we build out automations. Now, you might be able to do some of these things in, in platforms like ActiveCampaign or HubSpot, Infusionsoft, of course, I know you can do those. Uh, those are very expensive. Um, and, and But anyway, I'm not gonna get into the, the comparison of the platforms. I'm just saying a lot of the functionality you can accomplish in other tools. You don't have to use Elite 360. So if you're using other tools and you wanna keep using them, totally fine, you can apply this. So what I'm gonna show you right now is our IG auto reply to DM. We use this um, with a lot of our two steps that we will do on social media. But I wanna be clear, you can do the exact same thing in Elite 360 for Facebook or Facebook uh, Messenger, uh, text and email, as well as our chat widget. 
and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so the, the goal of a two-step is to get people to raise their hand. It's to get people to say, yes, I want this. And we use automation to deliver it. So here, for example, is a, tr is a trigger. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna click on this. This trigger is basically saying when a customer sends us a message on Instagram, all right, leads lead messages us on Instagram, we're going to, and it, and it contains a certain phrase. And this is the, this is the sort of the strategy when it comes to, uh, to, to two steps and automating this process. So we'll do things like, you know, um, maybe put together, um, a free training on lead generation, and maybe it's called organic masterclass. And we say something like, hey, you know, DM us the word organic masterclass and we'll send this over to you. So could we have one of our setters or messengers send that over to them manually? Of course we could, but that's not where we want our setters and messengers to spend their time. We want our, our setters and messengers to spend their time engaging, asking questions, and having a personal conversation with them. So we utilize the automation inside of a lead 360 to automatically send back that message um, to them. So there, we're, I'm gonna just use, this is just the demo account. Let's just say we set it up so that, you know, say we're doing a training on IG and say, hey, if you want this too, you know, shoot, you know, DM me the word X, Y, Z, and I'll send it over to you in the next few minutes, right? And then they DM you that word X, Y, Z. So that's gonna trigger this workflow. Now we're gonna add them to our pipeline. That, you know, that's just a sort of a technical thing so we know where they are in our, our lead you know, nurture stage. But this is the automatic reply back. Now, now this is just an Instagram direct message. So we can put whatever we want here. You know, thanks for reaching out. Here's the link to X, Y, Z. Now we, we take a few other steps here. We mark it as unread so our messengers can see it in the system, but we also send an internal notification, letting them know, uh, letting our team know that there's a, a person in there, but we're not gonna leave it there, right? We can wait for 20 minutes. We set a little wait step in here. I'll move this over here so you can see it better. And then we're gonna send an Instagram DM uh, that basically is is trying to, to kind of mimic um, a, a, an authentic conversation. And that, you know, were you able to access, access the training, right? Whatever. Were you able to access the, the, the PDF? Were you able to access the, the masterclass, the course? Whatever lead magnet you're using, whatever value you're giving away, you're checking in to see if they asked it, accessed it. Now, we're doing this with automation, again, because we're trying to get engagement without our messengers having to spend the time to do it. When you, if you, or you, if you yourself are messaging people or you have a team, ask them how many people that they have to connect with in order to get one to reply, how much time that takes. This eliminates all of that. It's done, right? So boom, that Instagram message set back. We wait for a reply here. And the condition that we're, we're waiting for is, uh, you know, here's the condition. Yes, they reply or no, they didn't. Okay. It's a very simple, you know, a, a very simple, uh, condition that's set. Now, if they do reply, we're gonna do a little wait, and then we're gonna send them another Instagram. Um, great, I hope it helps you. In, in the condition that we're waiting for, sorry, let me back up. Do they reply yes, right? Or do they reply with no, not yet, or nope? Those are the, you know, I'm, I'm giving some options essentially there uh, for the no reply. So if they do reply as with yes, great, hope it helps you tell me, what was it that interested you about X, Y, Z? Now you could put whatever you want here. You don't have to use this specific language, but what I'm suggesting is that again, it's just a natural progression in the conversation you would have if you gave someone access to something, right? What do you think about it? You know, but, but what interested you about it? Or you could ask, you know, if it's something specific, uh, you know, you, you could speak directly to it. Let's say for example, you're giving um, a, a free recipe, right? Hey, you know, did you get the recipe? You know, are you planning to make that tonight? You know, so it'd be very, try to make it as authentic and specific as you possibly can to whatever lead magnet that you have. Now, if they haven't watched it, okay, if they haven't looked at it yet, they say, no, nope, not yet. That's okay. You know, get to it when you can. I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to, I'm going to try to have that authentic uh, conversation engage. And then I'm waiting, right? And that's essentially the next step. And that that's it, right? I mean, that is really it. All I can, now from here, you could get crazy and you could do a lot of other things, right? You could add some other wait steps. And if they don't reply, you can, you know, move them on to, you know, to other things. I do a wait step if there's no response. I wait for 30 minutes and then I'll say, maybe I'll check back later when, when you aren't so busy, have a good one, right? And 
All this is doing is just automating and freeing up some of your time. Now, obviously from here, your setters or messengers should be in there engaging and trying to, um, you know, carry on the conversation once they're, you know, um, uh, once that person responds. The whole purpose of this is to sort of put the ball on the tee, right? And let your setters just knock them out of the park, right? And just further up that or further along that nurture process so that you can close that gap, that window from as, you know, from the time that it takes to engage with someone to the time that it takes to get them booked on your calendar. And this is it. This is our two-step strategy. Now, again, in Elite 360, we can do this with all different types of reply channels. So for example, here's the trigger. I can do um, a phone call, chat widget, email, Facebook Messenger, Google My Business Messaging, Instagram, SMS, WhatsApp. There are others that are coming as well. LinkedIn, TikTok um, uh, are coming down the road as well. But the point of this is not the software. The point of this is the automation and the speed. This is what allows you to get information out to a lot of people very quickly. If you're not using a tool like this, you're spending a lot of time manually doing things. Like think about this, if you're spending an hour trying to reach out to people a day and they're not reaching out to you, that's an hour of sales calls that you're not doing. So if you do an hour sales call, 60 minute sales call, that's five calls a week that you're not doing. And if you have a 50% close rate with organic, that's two and a half sales that you're missing out on a week because you're spending manual time not automating this process, right? Or worse, if you're having to hire a messenger just to respond to these people and send them things, they're wasting time with connecting and having authentic conversations and you're having to pay them too on top of that. So it's just, it's about optimizing little bits and pieces of your business. But this two-step process, um, we will send out a text message that's, you know, reply with this. And we're, we're asking for engagement. And then we're using that. It's, it's not the, the, the tool or the resource that's the end all. The end game is to just initiate the conversation. And these two steps are a great way to um, reactivate dormant leads, reactivate people that have been on your list or been on your following for a while that haven't seen you. Now, one, one caution, you should hopefully have an email list. So obviously in Elite 360, we have a full CRM email marketing system. And so we, you know, we will send this out to our email list as well. If you don't have that, you really want your, your lead magnet to be things that, that people can opt into and register for. So in other words, don't just give them a PDF document right? If, if, if they're not on your list and you're doing this on social media, drive that first message back to an opt-in page where they have to put their name, phone number, and email address in. So they're coming onto your list, right? And then you can deliver, you know, the, the PDF on the next page, for example, but put some sort of gateway that, that they have to opt into and register for in order to get that, because that's what you really need to start doing is building your list so that you can, Send your two steps out via email. We send our uh, we do text message, email. We do them on social media as well. A lot of you might be doing two steps or kind of five guys posts we call them, um, but you're only doing it on social. The problem with that is you know 10% of your followers are seeing that. So what can you do? One thing that I'd recommend doing is some boosted posts. Maybe put a little bit of spend behind those posts. Get them out to your followers, uh, and maybe even eventually the cold you know the the uh, um, you know, the, the, the cold market, right. And, and actually run some, some boosted post ads out to the general public, but, uh, running them to a two-step post is a great way again, to get people to raise their hand. You shouldn't be running two-step or, or running any kind of boosted post to things that are just engagement type videos. So which videos should you use to boost? It should be ones that have direct call to actions like this, like, like a two-step, like, Hey, DM me the word this. A lot of you are using comment below. Unfortunately, our system doesn't pull in their comment um, and, and allow to automate that yet. I don't know if that's even possible, but um, they have to send you a DM. So if you're just doing comments, then again, it's all a manual process. You have to sort through and look at them all and you know go through each one, one by one. This would automate that entire thing. Have them DM you the word and then it specifically replies back automatically. So there you go. That's my little two-step tip to get people to raise their hand. Hopefully that was helpful to you.